What's up, my people? Uh, we hope everybody's doing well. So for today's episode, uh, we are inviting a few people to share with us um, what gives them the energy to to want to do more. What gives them the pump to to go an extra mile? Uh, hopefully, people can pick one or two things along. You know, as as we work on our journeys and we work on ourselves. But these people are going to tell you um, what what makes them want to want to succeed. Why they're not content with where they are. And, and what they look at as they go through their journey as well. Um, let me let me know what you think. If if any of these are you know kind of kind of correspond with you or kind of relate to how you are, your life, your journey, uh, go ahead and put a comment, like like, share, subscribe, uh, and uh, and we'll give you more. Hey, what's going on? My name is Nicholas Costello. I just want to talk to you a little bit about uh, going the extra mile. Going the extra mile definitely is going to bring uh, late nights, early morning. Uh, pain and even sacrifice maybe that sacrifice has got to be with your family your time your friends socializing uh, but you have to hit it hard you have to hit it hard to accomplish your goals all the pain and all that bad negative stuff is is temporary and you'll find out that everything's worth it at the end um, that's that's a for sure thing uh, so what gives me my drive right it's my future self right I'm 31 years old I just finished my bachelor's um, uh, this year I came out of debt I'm on my second house, I got two licenses, I got a beautiful family, um, and all the other good stuff, right? My future self brings me to step out the bed in the morning. What do I want? I want generational wealth. I, I wanna come out of poverty. I don't want any of my friends or my family to go through what I went through. So I wanna build, I, and yes, it starts with me. It starts with one foot at a time. And every, like you know, in a blink of an eye, years, weeks, days, minutes, hours go by. What I do now, what you do now, will always count, no matter how big or small. But you have to get started, and you have to stick with it. Just do it. That's it. Get started. I'm a Adrian Elmore, originally from Dallas, Texas. And I was asked by King Vibes to answer the question, what motivates you to go the extra mile? What motivates me to go the extra mile is my faith in God and my overwhelming desire to motivate those around me to do the same to continue to push through um i believe that if i can do it it's possible for anybody the first step of the process is believing in yourself and putting one foot in front of the other um to get the process started my best advice is to not look around so much at the competition or others around you and create your own rhythm to grind to when you are passionate about something and you um have an overwhelming need to accomplish it then the work becomes easy keep and i'm from ghana kumasi um that's ashanti region and i'm from multimedia group as a sales executive and uh, i've been going the extra mile since i started work and now i've taken on a new challenge by hitting the gym you know i was motivated by nana kusida snake the king's vibe to do more uh, with my body than rather jogging and the rest so i've decided to hit hit the gym to get more strength more endurance and also build some muscles you know in addition so i'm motivated to go the extra mile by hitting the gym it's been like two to three months and i think he's very good uh, a lot of things have changed and uh, i really want to go far and go the extra mile with the gym that's the new challenge i've taken upon myself so i also challenge you to go the extra mile at every place that you work you work or your home or any place that you are because i've started a new challenge and I want to go the extra mile. So you to go the extra mile. Hey everybody, my name is Kyle McDaniel, and I'm gonna tell you what gives me the motivation to go that extra mile every day. Uh, first of all, I wanna say the strength to go the extra mile is given to me by the grace of God. Now, why do I wanna go the extra mile? Uh, I don't wanna Bret Hart anything. I don't wanna be the best there is, there was, and ever will be. I just want to be the best that I can be. Um, that's important to me because if I'm always trying to be the best that I can be, then once I do something, that's it. I completed it and I know I can do it. So I always look for what I can do next, the next challenge, the bigger challenge. I'm always looking for ways to challenge my body, challenge my mind and uh i mean the world's gonna challenge my soul so i just look for ways to stay patient and have self-control and keep striving to be 
the best that I can be. Because ultimately, I want to show everyone that if I can do it, anybody can do it. At the beginning, it's hard. But then you have determination. Then determination brings you perseverance. From perseverance, it leads you to your ultimate goal. What is your goal? What are you trying to do? That is the question you have to ask yourself. Are you doing this for you? Are you doing this to make you feel better? So once you get that goal and you're almost there, you have that feeling of accomplishment. Once you get that accomplishment, then you know that there's the light at the end of the tunnel and that you can continue and press on and you know that you can get that goal and once you receive it, then you are the happiest person in the world. Are you committed? Because without commitment, nothing happens.